Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team. How are you doing during these challenging times? I hope these videos are helping you each day to reprogram that thinking, stay positive and resilient. From my heart, this is the very best that I can serve you. As always, I'm still referring back to the, uh, the, the triangle, the set, and how am I setting my compass for how I'm gonna to choose to be on a daily basis. I still have this very close to my heart. So we've looked at uh, those three letters. Today, I want to talk to you about this topic. How do I choose to be at the start of the day? How do I choose to be at the start of the day? Now you may have noticed on here that I've actually made in bold the letter B because your choice of how you're gonna be, and it is a choice, you're stopping and thinking, hang on a minute, whoa, 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 I could go that way, or I could go this way, I'm gonna choose this way, because that's more empowering. How you choose to be at the beginning of the day is absolutely crucial to help your mental well-being and focus during this time of crisis. So I'm gonna share with you what I've chosen to be like, simple practical tools that you could put into your day. First of all, I ch I've chosen that every morning when I wake up, I'm gonna get back into making a green smoothie, a healthy green smoothie with, with lots of fresh vegetables and fruits. Um, it doesn't always taste great, but uh, I know it's doing my body the absolute best, making it more resilient, the best it can be during this time of crisis. So when I wake in the morning, my first focus is to say, right, I'm gonna make a green smoothie and I'm gonna drink that in the morning and that's gonna set me up for the day for whatever I have to do next. That's a good choice to make that's gonna put me into a positive mental attitude. That's one of the things I'm going to do. So a very simple thing that I've changed in my day to just make a change is actually really powerful because look at it like this, during the war, when we were in this country very short of certain foods, everybody went back to eating vegetables. They were, they were growing vegetables from their allotments. But the result of that was that the nation's health improved. We were at our fittest point by you know, getting rid of the sugars and all the things that were bad for us, and we were eating vegetables. So the other way that I attach power to that new decision during this time of crisis is to say, and by doing this, I'm going to make myself feel healthier. It's a good thing to do. And I've made that choice during a time where there's lots and lots of uh, horrible news around me that, that's actually quite dark and scary. But within that darkness, just like these candles, I can shine a little light in. Uh, and hopefully that will help other people as well. So on this piece of paper here, we've talked about uh, choosing something new, just something small that you can do now at the beginning of your day. You decide what that might be mean for you very, very small, that will make that change. Um, and then say to yourself, what's the, good, what's the good in the bad? Now, what do I mean by that is that I can actually reframe that, that this whole crisis, this whole decision by saying, well, you know what, it's bad. But the good in the bad is that during that bad, I chose to get back onto making green smoothies. And that just makes you feel that little bit more resilient so that you're better then for the people around you that you're serving, whether it's family or people that you, you work with or serve or if you're at home, the people that you spend time with. So what's the good in the bad? And that's really important to maintain that, that set, that setting that compass of how you choose to be, your state of union during this time of crisis. So think about how, what small changes you could put into your day, at the beginning of the day, that could just change that, 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 that feeling of doing something positive. Now, here's the really, really cool thing about this is that when you do put those changes in, you also then create a future anticipation for where that will get you to when this crisis is over. So you're actually creating a wonderful four letter word, hope. Because by having the green smoothie every morning, that's making me feel better, more energized. But I also know that say 12 weeks down the line, however long we are in this crisis for, at the other end of it, as a result of something very bad, Something's good's come out of it at a, at a macro level in that I'm healthier because I'm, I'm having more green smoothies because of that crisis. That is incredibly powerful. 
That is incredibly powerful. That is not the same as dipping your head in the sand and saying, no, no, I'm, I'm going to pretend this isn't happening. No, 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 no. Because, of course, you're still showing empathy and you're still helping people. You're still doing the best you can. But as we said before in the last videos, your state of being, how you're thinking is absolutely crucial. So it's redefining the situation. My good friend Mike Hendricks is going to elaborate this topic about what he does or what he chooses to do first thing in the day. I'm fascinated to find out what he does, although I think I've got an idea. Mike, you either to the right or to the left of me, I'm not quite sure yet, but he'll be here soon, everybody. Mike's gonna share with you. What does he do at the beginning of the day to set his compass in the right direction through this time of crisis? Here's to your success, Tony Mallet, sign. Thank you, Tony. Great words. Now, what do I do at the beginning of my day? <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'll tell you how it is. I'm a father of four kids, two of which are currently under five years of age. So normally my day starts with someone jumping on my head at half past four in the morning or someone crying, waking me up. Now I could use that as an excuse. I could use that as a reason not to start the day in the right way. But I think it's important, as I mentioned in the previous videos, that you almost start the day on purpose start the day in the best possible way now again it's not always easy especially if you're in a situation like myself where you have people constantly pulling your attention whether it be kids work and so on and so forth but you want to experience um, thriving in your life you want to have more in your life you want to have a sense of calm as you go about your daily um, duties, your daily activities, especially in this current situation that we find ourselves in. So you have to be on purpose. You have to make a point of saying, to you, I'm going to do something today, do something new that maybe is going to open my way of thinking to a different, to a higher level. So for myself, it's reading a book. I always like to start the day by reading a book. It might be an old book, it might be a new book. This is one of my favourite books here. And I read this book over and over again. You can see inside I've marked it up with different pages. But that new thing for me could be just going back to an old book and reading a new page again. So it's going to orientate my mind in a particular way. It could be watching a TED talk, a brand new TED talk, just for a few seconds, a few minutes. So again, it's just going to subconsciously affect the way I'm thinking throughout the day. Something new. It could be if I go out for a run trying a completely different new route and um, so I'm going to see different things and maybe interact with different people but making a point of trying something new it doesn't have to be every day but each week I try to do that and it's going to just shift my mind in a way that I believe that's going to open it to a different way and you could perhaps think about doing the same trying something new you don't have to do anything major it could be saying hello to someone you haven't said hello to. It could be reading a new book as well. It could be listening to a TED talk on YouTube or doing something different that's going to just open your mind in a, in a different way. So, have a think about that. What can you do new today? Something different. It could be the way you speak to your kids. It could be the way you speak to your partner, wife, husband. Try it and see how you get on. Remember to leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you did that was different. And again, share this with your circle of influence. I hope you find it of value. And until next time, my friend, take care, stay well, be inspired, and here is to your success.